Marjorie Taylor Greene told us about some of the ways the massive amount of COVID money was being spent by the federal government. I'm sure it's all accounted for. Everybody's happy. Nothing was wasted. I mean, of course, you're going to have a little waste, but not much. Yeah, that's baked in, right? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> it's baked in. Ugh. Like uh, the butter on uh, Home Pride. What was it called? We split the top and let the butter bake right in. Dude, don't do this. <laughs> I'm hungry. I don't need this. All right, here's Marjorie Taylor Greene. So, Mr. Dodaro, if you don't mind answering a few of my questions, um, can you tell me, as our comptroller of the United States, how much uh, COVID cash was given to abortion? Mm. I do not know that answer. I don't have that answer. Oh, okay. So they never I, do, do. I can tell you Planned Parenthood no. clinics received $80 billion oh, in COVID relief good loans, golly. Um, which is hard to understand how that mm-hmm. happened. Um, Mr. Dodaro, can you tell me how much money COVID mm. cash went towards diversity, equity, and inclusion or racism issues? Again, I, we have not looked at that issue, so I don't know. Oh, geez. You're a well, controller. I can tell you the Pennsylvania Human- Humanities Council did receive $1.4 million in relief and used it for equity and geographic diversity. Uh, I'm not sure how that helped in, in a pandemic time. Um, Mr. Wow. Dodaro, can you tell me uh, how, much, how much COVID cash went to CRT? The CRT? Critical race theory in education. It's, it's a racist uh, uh, curriculum used to teach children uh, that somehow their white skin is not equal to black skin and other things in education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. No, I do not know that. But I I do know that there's provisions that the uh, federal funds generally are not used, they're supposed to be used for curriculum. Oh, uh, it's a state. Oh, Mr. Dodaro, I have to tell you, in Illinois, they they received $5.1 billion um, at at an elementary school there that, that used it for equity and diversity. Um, so it's, it's being used for these things. Uh, Mr. Dodaro, can you tell me how much money was given to Drag Queen Story Hour? Uh, 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 I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Who? Drag Queen Story Time, where, where men dress up uh, as uh, women uh, and, and read confusing uh, books to children. <laughs> First, I thought you said dry clean. So, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, no, I don't know the answer to either one of those. Two. Oh, good. Oh, there we go. That's good. I, did she provide the answer? I want to know. Yeah. Uh, oh, for that specific school, got eighteen grand just at that one school oh to promote uh, drag. Drag. She also yeah. said eighty billion yeah. went to Planned Parenthood. That she did. Eighty billion dollars. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, it, it should be unconstitu- unconstitutional to fund that at all from our money. Mm-hmm. That's our money. Yep. You having fun oh. doing your taxes this year? Because that's where it's going. Oh yeah, and also I saw a thing where thirty million is going to India to fight to fight like plastic pollution. I, are they a state? Is India <laughs> part of this country? Just unreal. It, it is madness. Like we are spending Just money incredible. unconstitutionally that we don't even have. And, and I have this meme here, Pat. I, I just I, I don't think I sent this in, Kayla. So don't even look for it. But I just this says it all perfectly. The government says you owe us money. It's called taxes. And then you respond, well, how much do I owe? And the government says, well, you have to figure that out. (laughs) And then you say, well, can I just pay what I want? And the government says, oh, no, no. We know exactly how much you owe, but you have to guess that number, too. (laughs) And then you say, well, what if I get that wrong? And the government says, well, you go to prison. (laughs) I mean, is that not exactly right? It is exactly right. This isn't. Yeah. (laughs) No. Mm-hmm. I feel your pain, and, dog. and then you're funding feel stuff like pain. this. Eighty billion to kill 80 babies. Eighty billion—that's unconscionable. It's an absolute catastrophe, Ugh, and an all abomination. And all that stuff that Marjorie Taylor Greene was going through. Remember, the voice in the wilderness standing against that bill was Thomas Massey. Mm-hmm. And here we are. Here. Unable to track any of it, and when we do, we find out what it was actually used for. Gee, who could have seen that coming? Uh, Thomas Massey. Yeah, I just saw a story, kind of briefly glanced through it, of some of the COVID cash that went to this woman in uh, California, I think. And she got $380,000 and spent it on a Bentley, 
uh, and several other luxury products. And then, you know, never got caught until just recently. And you wonder how many how many times oh, yeah. has this happened? I I would guess thousands, maybe maybe hundreds of thousands of times. Yeah. And that's our hard earned wages going to waste on these products. Yeah, be sure to uh, go to work today, y'all. Because yeah. uh, somewhere out there, uh, Planned Parenthood is depending on your cash to murder babies. And congratulations, <clears throat> Uncle Sam is uh, who you're going to get to pay at the end of the day. <laughs> you're not going to be done paying Uncle Sam till probably July, is August. That, yeah, when is the Tax we Freedom should, Day this year? We should look that up. Tax Freedom Day 2023. Because every year it just goes further and further deeper into the calendar. Yep. How uh, long are we working entirely for the government? Let's of course, see. it depends on how do they do this? Be, because it depends on your income tax bracket. So, yeah, I think they just mean like the average uh, yeah. worker. Well, April 18th. April 18th. Three days after tax day. Now you can have some of your own money. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's uh, two days later than it was last year. Wow. And um, I don't know, but here's another here's another website. Oh no, that's UK. Okay, so in see, this is where you could say, well, in Britain they have to work till June eighth. So count your blessings, America. Yeah, that's why we fought a war <laughs> and broke away from them because we didn't want to do that stuff. We didn't want to be overly taxed. Uh, we didn't want to be surveilled. We didn't want any of that. We wanted to be free. And this ain't it.